morning. Morning. Let's start our session. Good morning, guys. This is January 21, 6.45 a.m. From Mohurta, Sunday morning, difficult to get up. Let me just uh, set the room. And uh, a little bit cold here. So I'm just switching over the Alokji, I hope you're drinking water in the morning, right? Before you come Actually, that's one thing I was going to say. By the time I get up, I don't have time right now to drink it. But I, I'm drinking every day, but it's just later. So what you can do is you can cook the water in the night. And yeah. even if it is room temperature, you drink that in the morning. You can't make it warm. It is OK. Yeah, I should do that. But yeah. don't say you can't do yoga within so many half an hour, an hour of your water. No, no, no. But by the time we finish micro exercises, water goes down. Okay. 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 Let's sit straight. Pay attention to our breath in our belly. Okay. We will do belly breathing. When we breathe in, belly goes up. When we breathe out, belly goes in. Squeeze the belly button in. So breathe in. In the belly, breathe out. Whatever we need from the universe, we breathe in into our belly. Whatever is not working out, we throw back from our belly, back into the universe. Hand can be in chin mudra. But remember during this session, anytime you talk about belly breathing, it should be using the belly button going up. When we breathe in and squeezing the belly button out physically when we breathe out. Pay attention to belly breathing during the session. Mm. One more belly breathing in. Breathe out. Take the hand outside. Bend backward and forward. Alongji, slowly, slowly, very slowly, so that we are aware about our movements of muscles and nervous system. Do it with full awareness and as slowly as possible. Close your thumb, make a fist, and then start rotating very softly, gently, with full awareness. Hands and start taking the hands on the side. When all the scapulas are totally stretched, shoulder blades are stretched, we reverse the movement and bring the hand forward slowly, gently, with full awareness. Life force is thought, and thought moving your hand is awareness. It's called pranayama. Prana means life force, yama means control. Okay? Join both the hands, take the palms outside, and very slowly and gently, one muscle at a time, one muscle at a time, slowly, slowly stretch our hands above our head. And once our hands are above our head, keep doing your belly breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. From there, turn to the left, keeping the back straight. And we'll do two breathing here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel the stretch on your right hand and your chest. So you can breathe in, breathe out. Now we'll go and bend on the right hand side, stretching our left hand and left chest. And we'll do two breathing. Breathe in here, 
breathe out. Keep the back straight, breathe in, breathe out. Now take both the hands back, bend backward by looking up. Looking up, we'll do two breathing here, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly, slowly bring hands to the knees, very gently with full awareness, as if you're moving in the slow motion in this micro exercise. Now take a right hand, put it on the left knees, left hand goes behind and look over, over your left shoulder and do two breathing there, breathe in, Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly bring the hands back to the normal and this time we will take our left hand to the right knees. Right hand we twist. Twist as much as we can and look over our right shoulders. We will do two breathing here. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breathing here. What we are doing is we are twisting the internal visceral organs about middle part of our body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back to the normal position. And now gently and slowly come back to the normal position. And this time we'll do the neck rotation. We'll start the neck bend forward. Bend to the left. Breathe in. Gently and softly, keeping the eyes on every neck muscles. Look up, breathe out. Go to the right, breathe in. Go forward, breathe out. Now we will twist the neck to the right side, breathe in. Go to the right. Look up, breathe out. Turn to the left, breathe in, look down, breathe out, come back to the normal position. So we have finished all the micro exercises for auxiliary respiratory muscles, including the diaphragm and when we did the twisting. Now let's do two round of Bhastrika. Okay, we will breathe in slowly by raising the hand. And we breathe out in with intensity. Let's do two rounds of it. Alonji, hand on the side, not in the front. Mm -hmm. Doing it in the front, do it on the side. Like that. Okay. When we take a rest, feel the exhalation has removed all the stale air from our lungs. Okay. Let's do the second round of Bhastarika. It cleans up the nose as well as deep seated. Grief, unresolved conflict from our lungs, which is a seat of emotion, holding these emotions inside. Okay, let's do the second round of it. At our own pace. Breathe in. Must be feeling the little sweatiness on your okay. chest, on your armpits by doing this. Okay. Now make a thank you. Now make a arm fist, and we will do two rounds of Kapal Party. Do it at your own pace. Okay. Keep the back straight. We breathe in, and focus is only on exhale. Inhale will happen automatically. Our focus is only to inhale. Okay. Let's do. Two rounds of 108 couple party start now breathe in and exhale and exhale we are doing it using diaphragm 
an abdominal muscle, not from the chest. Start now. Bend forward, exhale, 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 and then coming back, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Mm. Do deep inhale and exhale after that. And we'll get ready for the second round of Kapal Bhati. Again, make a fist. Bend forward and exhale. Inhale and start. And then bend forward, exhale, and coming back, inhale deep. Exhale, inhale, exhale. From there, we will do two anulom vilom, alternative nostril breathing. We will not do hold because of the time, but your own pace, you can decide how you want to do that. Use the right hand. Bend the index and middle fingers so that our finger and all can do alternative nostril holding. We close our right nostril, breathe in left. Come your belly, do remember belly breathing. Switch, breathe out right from belly. Breathe in right from the belly. Switch, breathe out left from the belly. This is one. Let's do two rounds of eight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Finally, eighth breathing left. Which breathe out right. Breathe in right from belly. Switch without left. Feel the calming and grounding effect of this amazing breath. To deep breathing in, to deep breathing out. Between the pranayama, to deep belly breathing in. Deep belly breathing out. Let's do the second and low below eight at our own pace. We're using the right hand, close right nostril, breathe in left. Switch, breathe out right from the belly. Breathe in right from the belly. Switch, breathe out left from the belly. Hands down, keep the balancing Surya Nadi and Chandra Nadi, balancing sympathetic and parasympathetic system in our body. Anytime we feel anxious, fear, worry, or any mental challenges, do this one, two, two rounds, and it'll balance us. And if you want better effect, you can do that by keeping the eyes closed. One more belly, breathe in in your belly. Breathe out from your belly. Now we'll do the fourth cleansing and fourth final cleansing pranayama. There we make a fist. It's called Agni Sar. In the Agni Sar, we bend forward. We bend forward and we exhale while bending forward. We completely exhale. Exhale. When we have exhaled completely, we hold our breath. We come back and we squeeze our diaphragm abdominal muscle eight times and then we'll breathe in. We do the breathing in, breathe out completely, hold your breath. <coughs> we breathe in. It will sometimes pain. Worst stomach if you have not eaten the right kind of food. 
but that pain will go away in next few minutes time. It will not stay. It is basically taking out all the toxin by squeezing the liver, pancreas and spleen in our body. Okay. Let's hold the breath again. Bend forward by making the fist. Bend forward. Exhale. Exhale. If you think you have exhaled enough, exhale more. Then hold the breath. Come back and squeeze your diaphragm up for eight times. Inhale after that. So after that we will do. So these are the four cleansing pranayama before in this sequence. Now we will do energizing pranayama. We will do one round of repeat. These four are done. Only one round of maximum seventeen. So we'll do one round of eight. All of them. Keep the hands forward. Use your middle two finger, index finger, and the ring finger. Use the thumb to close your ears. And then watch me keep my eyes closed when I breathe in. Fill my lungs when I'm breathing out. I make the humming sound from my throat. Mm. Keep the eyes closed and feel the vibration mm -hmm. in the body. Keeping the eyes closed. It activates the top five chakras and all the chemical balance mm -hmm. needed in our body. Keep the eyes closed, feel the activations of five chakras, top five chakras. So this one will help balance our chemical reactions in our body. Okay. Now we will do the sixth chakra, <clears throat> which is a J. In Brahmari, we are making the sound when we are exhaling. In this one, we make the sound here in the vocal cord while inhaling. <clears throat> Left hand on the chin mudra. Right hand, this bone will touch our pelvic bone. We are gliding our hand as if there is a glass wall as, as high as possible. And we pull the air 
minimal vocal cord watch me how i do first then i close my right nostril and breathe out from the left let's do one round of it at our own pace it cleans out all the throats germs infections you will not have cold and cough in this wintry weather i have a question <coughs> ask me when we do this up do we keep making the sound for as long as we can or we stop yes as long as our hand stretch as long as we can that is it <coughs> that is why it is stretching the vocal cord you are basically exercising vocal cord and throat at that part of the region connected organs the lungs are engaged and that is why it will increase the quality of the sound as they call it madhur awaj right mm -hmm. sweet voice it sweetens the voice because you are exercising the vocal cord instruments and supporting system one 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 other thing i learned from this preksha meditation i take on the app that your yeah. thoughts arise in the throat in the vishuddhi kendra supposedly which was interesting yeah. it it is uh, throat is one of the emotional uh, storage place and those emotional storage comes from throat like for example when we do this uh, uh bhastrika the lung is a emotional storage space of deep seated unresolved conflict so those emotion come from lung like that every body organ has emotion attached to that so if you have not cleaned them those thoughts will come from that part of the organ so you are right in that sense but it's not the only place where the thought comes it is one of the emotional related maybe in the next future session i can talk about uh, body organs and associated emotions to those at least core body organs i'll cover that in future session it's a good question that is why it is not only just exercising that part of the body organ system but also balancing organ store in that part of the body. that and that and the there is a time a clock time associated with each organ right yes swati is aware of the time some afternoon some are, you know absolutely swati is aware of that we have covered that in the past we call it organ time there is a chart when heart when liver when spleen is there so this organ chart i think she has it on her wall that's what she told me that she has kept it on the wall so you are very right each organ has its time and mind you these organ times are also related to vata time pitta time and kapha time like summer winter and spring right you that season time so yes that is where you will see the relationship of the elements connected with times and with organs we talked about six digestive system and the two element dominant each one of them like that you are right each organ has its own organ type when they are most active when they are least active at least when they are most active that is documented in scriptures nice i will share with you that chart maybe next time i can just start with the organ charts and what are the kapha time and then we can do our sadh excellent anything else along ji excellent let's do quickly one round of sheetli of eight 
roll our tongue, breathe in from our mouth through the tongue, close our mouth and we breathe out from the nose. Okay, let's do one round of Shitli at our own pace. Remember, do it through belly breathing. I will do the eighth and final Brahma. And my request is kindly do this by keeping the eyes closed. What we do is we fill our lungs with the air. At this stage, we open our mouth fully. And then we make a statement uh, by bending the neck backward and then slowly closing the mouth. Uh, our mouth is half closed when we are on the top. Oh, at this stage, you close the mouth. And then we keep making the sound by bending forward as much air as we have. And we can be as loud as possible. Keep our eyes closed during the pranayama as well as after the pranayama. Because this one activates all the seven chakras and sometimes can also awaken kundalini if done properly in the proper sequence. Let's do one round of eight. Ah. Keeping the eyes closed, feel the vibrations in all the seven chakras, vibrating and balancing. Ida Nadi on the left, Pingla on the right, Unshushumna in the center, all the way from Muladhar to Sahasral Kamal. In fact, when we do not have a time, 
to do the whole one hour exercise we can do meditation at this stage this could be our first stop of doing meditation if we don't have time to do the other physical aspect which we will do now all right thank you now we will do stretching physical part of the asanas physical part of the pranayama we'll be moving our muscles see there is a strip which i use i wanted to demonstrate this strip to some of us who do not have enough flexibility to bend our back forward so what i do is in this case you can do it by bending forward first watch me stretch your legs and then you can put your hands forward squeeze your stomach squeeze our stomach and bend forward as much as we can by putting our hands if you don't have a strip you can do it with hand stretch your legs and bend forward bending our back stretching our back as much as possible so this could be one exercise you can do to deepen our stretch i don't have a body structure to bend forward properly so i do that by using the strip i think i will move forward while you are stretching i will just move my mat so that you can see see me sideways Bend forward, stretch. This is, stretching is very important because most of the time we are standing straight. Our spinal cord is not getting stretched. So stretch by squeezing our stomach as much as possible. You can do continue to do belly breathing in this pose. Remember, breathing is very important. Second thing we can do is like we keep the left leg forward, bend the right leg. take the left leg even if you have to bend your knees it is okay and once you have bend your knees holding the left foot you can straighten your knees take the right hand on top of that <clears throat> and stay there bend forward squeeze slowly slowly by squeezing your stomach and continue to do belly breathing two belly breathing is recommended come back let's do that with the right leg take the right hand bend the knees if because i need to bend to stretch it up then i stand take the left hand on top and then i put squeeze the belly inside get a deeper stretch and i do it two belly breathing Mm, that stretch is so good. I feel so great. Now <clears throat> we join our feet together. Right. Take both the hands. Keep them under the feet. Pull the feet heels closer to your body. Make sure that your spinal cord is straight. Your back is straight. head is high straight. <clears throat> and then squeeze like a butterfly keep the smile on your face and continue to do belly breathing let's do eight belly breathing in this this particular joint ball socket joint movement is extremely beneficial for many reasons but primarily in the old age we are strengthening their most important number one joint of your body <clears throat> which keeps us straight and walking and moving our hip joint so to keep your back straight head high sunrise has happened it's a beautiful day
I have one small fact to share. When I get up in the morning today, I saw one bright star last couple of days. It is showing in the slightly right of the eastern skyline. And I was told, I looked up, it is called A-N-T-A-R-E-S, Antares. Antares is the 16th brightest star in the sky of the Earth. So very blessed to observe galaxy and universe beyond us. Okay, sorry, I've taken more than eight minutes. Now you take a left hand, hold the left feet, hold the left hand with the left left feet with the left hand, take the right hand to go underneath. Now you're able to get a better grip over a period of practice or last few months. Join both the hands together. Join both the hands together. Keep the back straight and we'll do eight breathing here. Belly breathing. Let's switch the leg. So left hand, gently keep it on the ground with the left. Left feet with the left hand. Take the right hand. Lift the right feet. Take the left hand under the feet. And right hand, <clears throat> make a grip. And let's do eight. As if you're holding the baby in our hand. Keep both the feet on the ground when we are ready. <clears throat> Let's lie down on the floor. Slowly and gently lie down on the floor. We will do bridge pose. In the bridge pose, we bend our knees so that our heels are close to our hip. Right, and when we, our hands can be on the side of the hips, lie down and slowly raise our hips one vertebra at a time. Very slowly, more slow we do, more beneficial it is for us. Okay, do that hip, and after we have raised up our hip, you will see the stretch on our thighs. Put both the hands behind the hip, make it like a fist, and push it further up. Push further up our hips and let's do eight breathing here. Keep lifting your hips up in the air. And now keep the hands on the side and leave, keep lifting the hip. And now come down one vertebra at a time. Be engaged with your spinal cord. Don't just thump the back to the floor. One vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly. Let it come down, come down, come down. Hmm. Stretch your legs. We will do the boat pose, no kasana. Here, lift both the legs and our head in upper body in such a way. And if you can't hold your body, you can use your hands below the thighs to keep yourself engaged. Okay. And when you think, you can try to remove your hand. You can even do this. Do eight breathing here. The focus is on abdominal muscles.
डोंट फॉरगेट वैली ग्रीन Slowly, when you are ready, come down to the mat. And now we will sit. <clears throat> Keep both the hands on the side. Make it like a T. Sit. Legs lie down as if you are sitting on a chair by bending your legs like a sitting chair position while lying down. In this pose, our <clears throat> head will go to the left. while our legs will go with the right to the floor so we are again twisting lying down the way we did it twisting in the sitting pose so look on the left both the legs go to the right even if you have to stretch your legs away from you it's okay as long as twist is happening in the middle part of your body so two breathing here mm. one more breathing Hmm. Now let's both the legs will go to the left hand side and head will go and look on the right hand side. Take another side twisting. Stretch your leg if you want to. Let's do two breathing here. Belly breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Without. Come back to the normal position. Lie down straight. The other one we will do in this position while we are here is called Happy Baby. In the Happy Baby, you lift your legs, take both the hands to pull your feet from within, and then you stretch your pelvic region, thighs. you might have to lift a little bit of your hip above the hair but your head and back should stay on the mat and with the hands you can stretch as much as allowed by your body again this is working on the vata region pelvic area just to one more breathing here hmm from there we will go to the shoulder stand if you want you can bend your legs above your head you can even put your hands to your calf muscle and tuck your stomach and try to bend them as much as you would like to it's your choice whether you want to keep the leg up in the air or you bend and slowly and gently bring your legs down in a normal practice you can do this longer now both the hands and legs on the mat in a cat at position you will do quick cat like a cat make sure your shoulders are above your hand and your legs are not away from the hip they're just below the hip like a 90 degree angle okay we will do cat pose <clears throat> are you ready okay all right so when we breathe in our head goes up we we'll breathe in and when our head goes up we breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out you can do two more breathe in breathe out here 
I'm just trying to remove my socks because I'm going to go from here to downward dog which slowly slowly make your hips come to the downward dog position In the downward dog position you can put all your weight on your right feet and lift your left feet above in the air and stretch your right feet as much as you can so that way all the weight is on your right leg Are you there, guys? Downward dog position, Swati. Left leg in the air. Then bring the left leg down. Now leave all the weight on the left leg. And your right leg goes up in the air. Stretch your left leg, calf muscles a lot. Keep the right leg down and slowly, slowly <coughs> move your left, both the legs towards the hand in the middle of the. Now your head is downward hanging. It could be you can say yes or no, means there is no neck muscle engage when your head is hanging we can fold our hands if you like here in this position we can put both our hand fingers and hold the heat pump with our two fingers and we can switch our back these are the alternatives we want to make sure our head is below heart and blood is flowing from heart to the head in this position. <clears throat> There's a one more alternative we can do. We can take both the hands behind our feet, calf muscles, and try to squeeze our head between the knees. And from there, slowly, 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 one vertebra at a time. We will go from there, joining over both the hands to the backward bend position. The backward bend position. Very softly and gently. When you are doing backward bend position, you can turn to the left. Don't do if you have a back pain issues. Come to the center, and go to the right side. And both the hands can come to heart chakra. Okay. Alokji, do you want to do quickly one round of Surya Namaskara? Because 8 o'clock we have a meditation. Okay. We'll stand at the beginning of the mat. Let's do one round of Surya Namaskara. Okay. Bend forward, backward bend. Forward bend, both the hands to the mat next to the feet. We will take the right feet behind, right knees on the mat. Look up, left knees, downward dog position, both the knees and chin on the mat. From here, cobra position. From cobra position, we'll go back to the downward dog position. Left foot forward, right knees on the mat. And look up, right leg forward, hold the hands, backward bend position, hold the hands, heart chakras, and on the side. This is half Surya Namaskara. Let's do the second half on the other leg, backward bend, hold the hands next to the feet in forward bend position. Left leg backward, left knee on the mat and look up. Right leg back, downward dog position. Both the knees and the chin on the mat. Cobra position. From the cobra position, we go back to downward dog position. Right leg forward, left knee on the mat, look up. Left forward. 
backward bend both hands folded heart chakra thank you so alokji we will do shavasana and then we'll conclude today yeah. is that okay or you want to do something else no that's good it, i do have a question for later on okay we can do that should we, should we keep changing the routine on a daily basis you know adding one or two or something like different poses is Absolutely. it helpful or stay the same routine no you you said it very right and you see i'm trying to do core routine which basically takes us let's let's answer that question it's an important question good question see in our daily practice what we want to do is engage as many as pranic pathways you know what is prana life force pathways like you you move a finger this is one pranic pathway by which you move your finger right so in our daily ritual our goal and objective as a teachers is to engage as many pranic pathways as possible with minimum effort with smooth transition that's our goal and purpose of all the yoga teachers of course we also have other goal like you know to take care of some people's personal needs and all those are separately i'm talking about generic in nature so i have for example introduce this trick in today it was because i saw and somebody told me that they are unable to bend forward how do they expect more deeper while doing your own sad so our goal is to include so till now we have been doing mostly eight pranayama which is covering all the things but in yogasana we want to include different variations pranayama i think we have optimized our routine when we were studying at ayurvedic institute okay so yes we want to include changes so that whatever elements are not covered for example when we are sitting here we keep our right hand and we bend backward and we breathe so this is twisting our all but some people say hey i want to do it this way you see my point mm -hmm. it is doing the same purpose but variation sometime remove the boredom away from people so this is a second type of repetitions one is to cover those which we might not have covered in our previous session so that we have engagement of all the pranic pathways once we engage our pranic pathways so then we have made our body healthier because if we use it we will not lose it second thing is to keep the vibrancy we will change the asana is that is your concern Yeah, that it, was your question. Getting all the pranic pathways activated, what do do? slowly, slowly. Yeah. So what we have done in terms of uh, our breathing pranayama, we I think we have optimized this with Dr. Lars' help and all. He has optimized this. This is the best. There are lots of other breathing thing which we are not doing it because this is the best bang for the buck, as they call it, best value for the money in the time. on the physical aspect if you few watch our older recording and your recording we try to bring yoga raja rajiv from kerala we brought in vidya from uh, tamil nadu from our sarane hospital we brought in nelson from isha yoga whole idea was to understand what yogic physical exercises they would like to do so that we have a variety okay okay so if that is the case we can we can uh, anything else alok ji no i'm good thank you so then we can break for the we can just you know sit in a lotus pose because we have 5 minutes to do the bathroom break and go for satsang thank you so much for coming and joining this beautiful session i really enjoyed your company and i hope you enjoyed our company Thank you so much, and see you in group meditation. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.